Okay, let's talk about the tropics. This is uh, the big story. We have 90% chance of potential tropical cyclone number eight developing into a named system in the next day or so. Next name on the list is Rafael. Now, this area of low pressure uh, across the southeastern Bahamas will likely just be absorbed into the energy of uh, this system as it is the stronger system. All right, so we also have subtropical storm Patty way out in the eastern Atlantic, and it is headed towards Portugal and portions of Spain. So in the southwestern Caribbean, this is what we have, an area of low pressure developing max winds at 35 miles per hour, moving to the northeast at 7. Let me show you the spaghetti models, and you can see that uh, they're in better consensus now as it is moving to the northeast, but by tomorrow, taking that turn more to the northwest, and that's going to put it into the Gulf of Mexico, where uh, conditions not as favorable for development. So we do expect some weakening uh, by the time it gets into the Gulf, but it will emerge over Cuba likely as a Cat 1 hurricane and then weaken to a tropical storm. That's Friday. So uh, we're in fairly good shape, but our moisture will be increasing and we'll have a tight pressure gradient keeping breezy winds across our area all week long. So here's where the watches are. Hurricane watch for the Cayman Islands and a tropical storm warning for Jamaica. So Vipercast showing that uh, low pressure developing staying to our west, but as you can see just generally, we're going to have a lot more moisture into place Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday.